I mean, the pump you get from shoulders and biceps together is insane. Hey, what's going on guys? Old School Matt here, back with another Water Buffalo Training Method workout breakdown. Today we're going to be breaking down a shoulders and bicep workout, guys. So what we're going to be doing is showing you guys a quick workout you guys can do within an hour at the gym, whether that be at your home gym or at your local gym, completely up to you. This workout is going to require that you do a lot of volume, a lot of sets, um, but in a short period of time. So it's going to be High volume workout, we're gonna be mixing in some biceps at the end, focusing mainly on shoulders today. We're gonna to be focusing on different facets of the training splits that we're doing. Um, a lot of the stuff we're doing here can be kind of mirrored in Water Buffalo Training Methods 100 day training program. So check out that if you're interested in training and learning more about diet, supplementation, nutrition. But without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm gonna be watching the workout here on my computer and then we'll be getting into it um, later in the video once you watch this little intro that I made. So check this out, watch me talk at the bottom of the screen and uh, enjoy. Hey, what's going on guys? Old School Matt here, back with another Water Buffalo Training Method workout breakdown. Today we're gonna be doing a shoulders and bicep workout, guys. Just finished up, incredible pump, really quick and fast exercises, super efficient and effective workout to get you in and out of the gym within an hour. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Hope you guys are enjoying the rest of our content. Make sure you subscribe and check out the rest of our videos for these workout breakdowns that go really in depth and I talk about some really good key points for these videos. So as normal, you'll see me start to float up and then my face will start to float down. So hope you guys are enjoying this content. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Peace. Let's do some biceps and deltoids. Let's go. So let's start off with the first exercise. We're gonna be doing a L sit press. So honestly, I've never even done this exercise before, but it's incredible exercise to do warmups. Um, this is the first time I've done them just because I was told by a friend of mine to try them out before I do heavy presses. So shout out to you, Sergio. Definitely gonna be incorporating this into the new training program when we do come out with it later this year. So check it out. It's very easy, very simple to do. All you're gonna be doing is sitting down on the floor, no back support, be doing an overhead press. I like to use a lighter weight on this one. Well, I, I, I'm using a lighter weight on this one because I wanna try out for the first time and get my shoulders warm. Next, all right, let's get into the actual workout. So we're gonna be starting off with some overhead press. We're gonna be doing six sets, three different variations in two sets of their own each. We're gonna be starting with behind the neck press, guys. Um, a lot of people don't like this exercise just because it's an unsafe position for the shoulder. However, if you're using a lighter weight like I'm doing here and you're kind of keeping it in a motion that's not impinging the shoulder on a level that's too harmful, I don't think it's too bad. So I think it's a go if you're not you, if you're not used to this movement and you want to do from the front presses, that's completely fine. Still kind of in that warm-up phase before we get onto the heavier presses. So we're going to be moving on into the second set. The second sets of uh, this exercise, we're going to be doing some standing uh, push press. So I'm gonna be using a little bit heavier weight here. We're gonna be doing six reps here, guys. Um, kind of trying to catch the shoulders on the way down, but really focusing on power here. You'll feel it on the front delts and a little bit of the side delts. But like I said, we're gonna be doing a full workout. So we're gonna be focusing on strength to begin with. And then uh, we're gonna be moving on from here into some heavy push, push slash strict presses. So the first rep to get it up, we're gonna be doing a push press just because it requires a lot of energy to unrack it. And then we're gonna be doing two strict presses. So in total, it's gonna be three presses. The first will be a push press, and the second two will be strict presses as you see me doing here. Two sets of that, and then we're gonna be calling it a day on presses. So after this, guys, we're gonna be getting into a kettlebell superset, something that I've started using on my shoulder days. Um, we're gonna be starting off with an upright row, and then we're gonna be going into a front raise. So that's the first two sets and then after you'll see we're going to be adding a third variation to the exercise so we're doing 20 reps in total which means we're going to be doing one on each so one one equals two reps so that upright row is going to be one and then the front raise is going to be one as well so i like this exercise in the superset guys because we're really smashing the front delts here we're getting a little bit of that side delt tie-in when you're required to hold at a certain position you're required to keep your arms locked in I find that it makes it a lot easier to hit the front delts. Sometimes when I do free weight dumbbells, uh, like front raises, I start to incorporate a little bit more chest than I want to. So we're gonna be switching into the superset here, the third one, which is gonna be adding a press to this 
um, I guess a little trifecta of exercises. So we're gonna be doing an upright row first, keeping that front row second, and we're gonna flip up and press the kettlebell up for a reverse press slash neutral press. Uh, completely up to you. I think the neutral press is easier to do on the kettlebell, but if you wanna you know, get that reverse grip, you can too. Um, like I said, I like using the kettlebell on the shoulder days now. It's something that I'm new, new to doing and uh, I actually really enjoy it a lot. Yeah, so you know, watch me go through these. So like I said, just like before, gonna be three reps in total uh, and 30 reps of those. So each one is one rep by himself. And then we're gonna be uh, pressing at the end of each of those two that we did before. So make sure you guys just keep the shoulders tight, keep the constant tension, and keep going. So we're gonna be moving on to our third superset, guys. It's gonna be a side lateral pyramid. We're gonna be doing two sets of burnouts. So we're gonna be pyramiding up and then pyramiding back down. That'll be one set. So we're gonna do one, uh, one set with the tens. We're gonna be doing 10 reps here. A uh, really nice tip that I have on side laterals is that you wanna make sure you keep your elbows high at all times. As you see me doing here, I'm keeping my elbows high consistently uh, throughout these switching sets or pyramiding sets to be per se. Uh, so from here, we're gonna be getting into the 15 for 10 reps, easy money there. It's not gonna be too hard. We're gonna be getting some reps in there. Like I said, keeping the elbows high, keeping the constant tension, and it should start to get a little bit more difficult. We're gonna jump up to the 20s here, guys. So that's gonna be 30 reps in total after we do our 10 reps here. A little bit heavier here, so no, main focus, still keep those elbows high. As you can see, I'm rocking a little bit to keep that momentum going, but that's all good because we're gonna be trying to overload the delts in whatever way we possibly can. Um, keeping those elbows high, like I said, is gonna help engage those uh, side delts as best we possibly can and keep us from using anything else. Uh, and then we're gonna jump up to the big boys. These are gonna be cheat side laterals, so don't make fun of my form. Gonna be kind of like an upright row slash high row, whatever you wanna call them. I'm still trying to keep the elbows high, but as you see here, it's kind of tough. And then we're gonna be going back down. So we're gonna start at 30s and go back down. So we just did 40 reps on the way up, and then we're gonna be doing 40 reps on the way down. So back down to the 20s, back down to the 15s. Oh, I gotta flex first. And then uh, back down to the 15s, and then back down to the 10s. Um, I actually added a little bit extra set on here. Uh, I don't know if it's videoed on this portion, but you'll see me. I'm gonna jump in and do the 10s and do for 20 reps. Um, I'm doing them behind the back here, I think, because I wanted to get a little bit of a different angle going, um, but it's up to you. You can continue the, the regular you know, flow of things. So I'm doing it to the back and to the front. So like I said, we're gonna be doing two sets of these. Make sure you get a good contraction on the side delts on the way up, and then just kinda, once you get to those 20s, 30s on the way up, and then back down, it's just kinda for blood flow and reps. So you know, make sure to know what you're doing and make sure to keep them going. All right, guys, so from here, we're gonna go into our third superset, which is gonna be a cable upright row, uh, incline with rear delt raises. Um, we're gonna be doing these to try to hit the side delt a little bit more, a little bit of that front delt too, but mainly focus on the rear delts here. Um, I know upright rows can be controversial on what delt they hit, but we're gonna be focusing as much as we can on the full shoulder and a little bit more of the rear delts. And then superset it with some incline dumbbell rear delt flies or incline dumbbell reverse flies. I love this exercise because I'm getting a two second squeeze at the top. Um, I'm really trying to hold those delts as far back as I can. As you can see here, I'm trying to push those elbows up and back, really engaging that rear delt in this exercise. Okay guys, next we're gonna move on into biceps. So the warm up slash, you know, first exercise will be the chin ups. We're gonna be doing four sets here guys. Uh, you can add weight if you like. I'm not doing any weight, and uh, one of my biggest tips on this exercise is you wanna try to contract the bicep as best you can rather than just do a chin up. You wanna try to bring the bicep together, almost like you're doing a, you know, like you're flexing. Um, so don't really worry about getting you know, the full range of motion, just try to contract those biceps. Uh, next, we're gonna be going into two unilateral movements. The first is gonna be the preacher curl, one arm preacher curl. So we're gonna be doing these uh, with respect to getting our arms nice and pumped. That's the respect we're gonna be given. So make sure you do a nice contraction at the top and make sure you're using a weight that's good enough for you to kind of get that full contraction and kind of feel it the, way, uh, the same way you would on like a preacher curl machine or a regular preacher curl where you're doing with two arms. I think heavier is the best way to go here. Uh, just because it's a movement that requires a weird angle and when you put a lot of stress uh, here in such a small range of motion you really get that you know full um, the full benefit from the exercise and then next guys we're going to be going to our last exercise which is going to be a one-arm hammer curl we're going to be focusing more here on a lot of reps so not really as heavy um, where I'm doing it on a reverse preacher curl so I'm actually doing it on the back of a preacher curl you can do it you know leaning over uh, on a bench seated whatever you'd like I like this exercise just because it requires, you know, a lot of forearm and brachialis work. Uh, we just kind of hit the biceps pretty hard with those chin ups and the one arm preacher curls. So to get some brachialis in there along with the biceps won't hurt anybody, but 
you know, the game haters. So let's make sure to keep going, guys. I think this is a fire workout. You can definitely get it done within 45 minutes to an hour. Um, you know, I hope you guys are enjoying this content. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel and the Instagram. If you guys are following us, make sure to check out all of our stuff on our website and make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you like this content. Coming out with more workout breakdowns, just trying to get through uh, as we continue growing and getting bigger. Hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Peace.